Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm just going to be playing through Smuggler's Road. I'm also going to be giving you guys some tips on the best way to complete it as a free-to-play player, or at least what I think the best way is, because there are so many different roadmaps going on, so many different things happening in the game, and it can get very, very confusing as to what you need to complete and where you should be using your resources. Don't forget guys to like and subscribe to my channel for more content and information. Now, this is just one roadmap that has five different acts. And as part of this, you actually need to get to the very last act and complete it because on the last stage of the last act, you can actually farm for cigars. By farming for these cigars, you can redeem them in the black market for trainers, torches, you can try to get a platinum mod. There's just a variety of different things that you can acquire from the black market. It's all an extreme energy consumption though. Not only are there five stages, but the last stage that you want to farm four cigars, well, it's 28 energy. So it costs a lot of energy and you get drops from one cigar all the way up to a hundred cigars. So exchanging these in the black market, I've done this a few times and you'll see that later in the video where I make some pulls off of it just to show you guys kind of what I've gotten so far. So I guess I'll throw this out there as well right now. You want to finish the first three acts of A Smuggler's Road as soon as possible because on the other roadmap, on the Moonshine roadmap, where you need to use Moonshine bottles, and these bottles you actually get for completing the different acts. So act one, you get 10, act two, you get 10, act three, you get 20. And because the Moonshine roadmap resets after two days, so that means it'll reset two times, I believe. Um, I believe on the third iteration where it would reset, I think that'll be after the event is done. So again, if you're not planning on spending for this event, you want to finish Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3 of the Smuggler's Roadmap. So you have 40 whiskey bottles because all of Act 1 on the whiskey bottle roadmap costs 30 whiskey bottles, so 10 each for the three stages. By the completion of that, you get three of the S-Class choice boxes. Overall, from that roadmap, from the Smuggler's Roadmap, you can get 100 free whiskey bottles. So ideally, as a free-to-play player, you want to complete Act 1 of the Moonshine Roadmap three times, so whenever it refreshes, because if you complete any stage from Act 2, it costs 50 whiskey bottles, and you would get one of the boxes for completing each stage. Now, unfortunately, it would cost 150 whiskey bottles to complete all of Act 2 and get more of the S-Class boxes. Now, if you end up only using 100 energy, that means you get nine S-Class boxes from completing Act 1 of the Moonshine Roadmap three times. But if you complete all of Act 1 and do one stage of Act 2, you'll only be getting four S-Class boxes. So the best method is just redoing Act 1 whenever it refreshes. That way you can optimize the number of boxes that you end up getting. You go from getting four boxes all the way up to nine boxes. Now, I will admit the energy requirements to do this map is ridiculous. It is so expensive to finish the roadmap and I had to use some coins to get some ener world energy cans because I was running out. Um, it's a little frustrating overall because, you know, we already have the House of Cards event going on, which is costing energy and it's costing energy every 12 hours. So it's just, it's, there's a lot going on for it. And then we think about the daily roadmaps that we have, our normal gold bar roadmap, our S-Class roadmap. There's just so much to do in the game at the moment and it's hard to keep track of everything. And then some people have been locked out of a game because the beta edition of the game has updated and made it impossible for them to log in. So they lost valuable time to complete this roadmap, to finish the raid event, to work into arenas, to start survival road. There's just so many issues that came up with that. So I am hoping that those players can get some form of compensation because they're losing league spots, they're losing rewards. But all we can really do is wait and see to see if anything actually happens with that. Um, otherwise, going back to uh, the smugglers event, complete the first three acts of the smugglers roadmap to get enough whiskey bottles to do Act 1 of a Moonshine map, and then throughout time just work your way through 
Act 4 and 5, and you basically just want to make sure that you have enough moonshine bottles to always complete all of Act 1 whenever it respawns, so that's after two days, or now at this point in this video it's about one day left. That way you can get a few more S-Class boxes instead of wasting it on Act 2, which as a free-to-play player, you're probably not going to complete it unless you're willing to spend quite a few coins or cash. I think that also with the survival road event that's going on right now, to kind of get some extra energy, try to level up because whenever you level up, you get a full tin of energy added onto your current energy. So if you have the player EXP um, territories, if you have both of them and you're doing SR, you just have a better chance of A, doing well in SR, which will get you more rewards. Um, and B, you might level up, which means you'll get a free amount of energy and there's just so many different roadmaps that you can do right now. And again, if you do the last stage of the Smuggler's map, so Act 5, the last stage of that, and redo it either with tokens or just competing and playing through it, you can get cigar drops, which you can use in the black market. And as you see, I was lucky I got a platinum mod from it. It's not a very good platinum mod, but I also can't complain about having a platinum mod because I know a lot of people don't have many of those. And now with the trainer bag, I get Burt's. I'm not exactly surprised, but you know, and it's kind of just like additional stuff. There's some more Burt's that I can pick up. Um, I'm actually going to pick up some more trainers, I guess. Um, I'm using a can now just to show you some cigar drops from that last stage. Doesn't matter what type of token you use. You get a variety of different amounts in the drops. So we're going to pick up some torches now and we end up getting 75, which is pretty good because the maximum is 100. And now regarding the House of Cards event, I've gotten a lot of questions about this, about how to complete it as a free-to-play player, because it is pretty confusing to be honest. Even though Scopely put up some spark notes, it can be difficult to know exactly what you're supposed to do. So if you don't plan on spending on this event, which is totally fine, I'm not spending on it either, what you need to do is complete the cards map for 24 days, which would be 48 runs because this map refreshes every 12 hours. So in one day, you can get a maximum of 30 decks. These decks can be used in the deck roadmap. And in the decks roadmap, there are two acts, one for jacks and one for queens. If you do each of them 12 times, so that means you could do all 12 of your jack runs over the 12 day span and then your 12 queen runs after that, your cumulative amount would be 180 of each. With that amount, you can exchange your jacks and queens in the black market. By exchanging in the black market, you'll get the exact number of aces that you need to get S-Class Lily. Now, of course, you could also end up getting extra aces by coming top 10 in a variety of different events, but we're just assuming that you're not coming in the top 10 area. As I mentioned before, by the repetition of doing the decks and cards roadmap, you're also going to get drops of 10 of spades. So if you don't end up getting any kings, but I think king of spades are actually pretty easy to get because they're in a variety of different milestones for different events. But if worse comes to worse, you can exchange your 10 of spades for king of spades instead. This event is very free to play in my opinion. There are just so many ways to earn cards and you can earn the exact number that you need by just doing the daily roadmaps basically. Everything else that you need can be acquired just through different events and it's mainly milestones. And at the end, if you have any extra cards where you can't redeem any more royal flushes, you can exchange each individual card for a different amount for different amounts of epic tokens which can be used in a wheel to get some gear. So overall, although the event is very confusing because you're exchanging one thing for another thing and so on, you can get everything you need pretty easily and nothing is really going to waste. So as a recap, do the cards roadmap 48 times and then complete the decks roadmap for jacks and queens. You don't even have to cash in these cards early. You can wait till near the end of the event to see where you're left off. You can achieve kings by completing milestones in different events from raids to survival road to level up. You can also do an exchange in the black market where 
a hundred ten of spades for ten king of spades, and aces are achieved by finishing top ten in some events. Which, if you have a decent faction or if you're in a deadish region, you could end up finishing high in at least one event to get some aces. And when you get fifty of each of these cards, you can exchange them for fifty royal flushes. You need to accomplish this twice. And then you'll have enough cards to get your S-Class Lily. I'm not going to go into depth about these other boxes or how you can achieve extra cards. I'm just focusing on how a free-to-play player could accomplish it. And it does seem super complicated. But really, it's pretty easy. Just keep doing the cards roadmap. And if you want, do the decks roadmap every other day so you don't lose track of if you did the jacks roadmap last or the queens roadmap last. And it'll just be easier to remember and know what you need to do on your next run. Anyway, I hope this helped clear up some questions that people have been asking me. And I also hope that you enjoyed the video.